Okay. Hey guys, it's me. It's me. Hey guys, it's Hi. me, Mommy, from Ready Set to Set. Today, what are we making? Coffee soap. Coffee soap. It, 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 here's Mommy and Noah here. <laughs> All right, guys. If you didn't understand that well, we are making coffee soap. That I have not made in a very long time. Come on. Come on. All right, in with our liquids. This was all the solid oils. I pre-melted just because um, I had to make coffee and get it to cool down and all that good stuff. Now, this is my same soap that I always make. The only difference is I use coffee uh, as the liquid and I also, um, uh, add coffee grounds. All of my butter or my oats and my clay and stuff was already mixed in. You know what? Change of plans. We're switching gears. I'm not gonna make coffee soap because my life solution, even though I used it like uh, with super, super cold coffee, it's still a little bit too hot for my liking. So I'm going to switch gears and we're gonna make a different soap because I used the same recipe. So we'll do black cherry. Uh, no, I can't do that. I'm gonna have to pause. Hold on. Okay, now, my coffee is a little bit warmer than I would like, so let's hope that it doesn't accelerate or anything. Um, <clears throat> the little chunks that you see on top is because I used the spoon from mixing my oils to mix my lye, so that's actually um, some solid soap. Mama, I see that. Can I get a bag? It's actually, those little chunks that you saw is oils that um, we're trying to saponify. It's not too hot. Now the fragrance does discolor. So I'm actually going to portion off a small portion. And kind of lighten it with TD, titanium dioxide. And I think I'm going to pre-mix my titanium right now. Just because I don't have much um, already mixed in my squirty container. I've actually had to reorganize um, my soaping area because I got a there it is. No, Mama, I got it too. I see that. I got a bigger melting pot for my wax. Just one. One and that's all. And so I had to organize my stuff to make room for the new stuff. I'm just going to mix up a bunch and then whatever I have left over I'll put in my little container. 
All right, let me grab a little bit of water. All right, sorry, I'm not all with it today. Sometimes that happens, you know. Still nice and fluid, so it wasn't too hot. Like I thought, I was a bit worried. We're going to divide off some of this and then I'll add our fragrance in, which it's a French vanilla coffee fragrance. This is really sort of kind of the drizzle on the top. See how that does. It doesn't have to be white, obviously. Just a lighter color. Now, we'll add in that's that's the black raspberry vanilla. <laughs> That's the coffee. That would have been funny. Put black raspberry vanilla scent in a coffee sub. Oh my goodness. Now let's add in our coffee grounds. This does make for a very scrubby soap. I actually had everything prepped yesterday to make these soaps, but um, my sister-in-law called and their doggy was missing, so we run over there to try to help them find their doggy. We did not find it. Um, we actually think somebody took it. Um, yeah, so. But we searched for hours through the whole neighborhood. <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> How did you do that? his arm. Are you okay? It's the blood to him now. Turn around. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let me get cleaned up here and we'll get you a band-aid, okay? <laughs> no, I'm almost done with this though. <laughs> Alright, hold on guys. Christ 
is averted. Mama. Yeah. It hurt. Yeah, I know it hurt. This is a bit thicker than I was going to have it because of the cresses, but that's okay. Crises happen. Sometimes you got to stop what you're doing. when you work from home. Not so loud, boys. Don't bring nothing right here yet. I'm soaping. Wait till I'm done. Alright guys, we'll bring you back for the cutting. We are back to cut our coffee soap and hope you guys can see it good. I got, oopsies, I'll turn it back on, I promise. Okay, I got a lamp to hopefully help with some light. Now. As you can see, it's going to be pretty dark. Let's see the inside is pretty light. You can see here on the side and the top, but the inside is still pretty light and it'll turn really dark. Just go on down the line. This is a pretty simple soap. Um, a really good wake me up soap. Mm, it smells really good. Coffee. Coffee scent with the little dollop on top. Let's see if I can adjust this to help. It's all right. We'll just do one of these on camera since their exact loaves are exactly the same. Oopsies. It's been a long time since I've got to make coffee soap. I was going through my cabinet of what to make and I was like, you know what? I want to make coffee scope. Now this soap is pretty scrubby. Um, so if you don't like, you know, the scrubby scrubby feel, uh, use a washcloth or like a loofah to, um, so you don't rub it directly on your skin. 
and that will, you know, counteract. You won't feel that scrubby feel. Like my, the jojoba beads, I love the way they feel, like in the, um, which soap was it that I just made? Mommy, the, the tap, the tap went like this. Oh, I know. And he pooped on the top bit. <laughs> do that. Okay, thank you. The fresh raspberry soap, I really like how it turned out. So, but okay, here is the new coffee soap. Thank y'all for watching. I'll bring you back on the next video.